What's up? Bam! Yo guys, what is up? It's Dave from Open Source Gangster. So I am back with yet another Linux video. Now in my first video, I showed you how to run Linux on your phone. Then I showed you how to run Ubuntu on your tablet. Now the only thing is both those methods require that you have root permission, aka a rooted phone. However, there is still one last way to run Linux on your phone. Now with a popular virtual machine application called Kumo, you can emulate Linux onto your phone. However, Kumo is very slow, therefore this will only be best in a command line environment and the GUI will just be too buggy to launch and will actually just won't launch. <laughs> so yeah, so this is going to be for you hardcore Linux cold console people out there who love this stuff. So let's get started. Okay, what you want to do is track the Linux without root zip. Then once you extract it, you should have the SDL app inside and the SDL folder. What you want to do is copy the SDL app to the root of your SD card so you can install it onto your phone. Then afterwards, copy the SDL folder to the root of your SD card as well. Okay, so I want to install the lib SDL or SDL app. Okay, so what you want to do is open up your lib SDL, which you may have already installed. I'm just showing you that right there. So open. And if everything works out fine, what you should have is a blank screen possibly for a few seconds then here we go our lovely BIOS booting up and then this is GNU Linux so just give it a few seconds and it's gonna do its thing so yeah let it do its thing okay so after it goes through that little startup which may take a few minutes it's gonna ask you for a Debian login now you can I think you can just create one I just use root from the very beginning so I don't know if that's the actual login or did I just get lucky. So I'm going to type in root and hit enter. And here we go. And it actually puts us at root. So yeah, works out well. And there you have it. You're in Debian Linux right now. Um, like I said, only command line, o command line only. But I know those of you, those of you, wow, I can't speak. I know those of you are going to be like, well, try starting the um, GUI. Just see what happens. So, I'm going to try to start X server. Uh, start X. And here we go. And yeah, it gives me an error when I try to start X server. Uh, bad display name. Um, yeah. So, honestly, I tried this on my computer, on Bosch on the computer, and it worked out well. However, even when I was able to get it on my computer, the GUI really wasn't that exciting, and it was just too slow to really even appreciate so if I were you I'll just keep to stick to the command line just because the GUI is really slow especially using Bosch and it's just not really exciting at all but yeah there you have it so you have full Linux right here and right on your device for your Linux pleasure <laughs> so yeah so thanks for watching and tune in for our galvanized video thanks <laughs> <laughs>